Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to the next part of the widget kit course. In this part I'll just show you how to actually add multiple widgets to your widget extension. And for that we need to go into our stocks widget file or wherever your widget struct is located. Right now you can see that it is annotated with add main, meaning that this is the main entry point into the widget. And if we want to add multiple widgets then we need to change this entry point. For that, we will first of all create a new struct and let's call it stocks widget bundle. And this will actually conform to widget bundle like this. Now a widget bundle also needs a body. So let's add that body of type some widget. Okay. And this body actually needs to be a widget uh, bundle builder like this annotated like this okay and now inside of the body we need to um, add all of the widgets that we want to have so right now only the stocks widget exists so we can just put the stocks widget in here like this and then move the main annotation from the stocks widget to the widget bundle right now nothing actually changes in the app but if you implement a second widget, which for example could show multiple stocks or some other data, then you can just put it in here next to the stocks widget. I just put the stocks widget in here twice, but uh, actually you would want another, another widget in here. But this is the way how to add multiple different widgets with different timeline providers, different timeline entries, different views and different functionality into just one widget extension. Okay, that's already it for this very short video. And in the next part, we will look at how to actually create different size classes and then display different content based on the size classes. So see you then.